Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to look glam and really put together, but being able to do that quickly and easily because I know I'm always running late or I'm lazy. I want to spend that extra 20 minutes in bed. So I'm going to give you a few tricks on how to do that. So if you're interested, keep on watching. But before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button and also check out my giveaway video on my channel right now. I am giving a bunch of goodies. It's around $500 worth of makeup. So make sure you go and find that so you can enter. So my first tip is going to be my favorite tip and that is glitter. So glitter, generally when you use glitter, you do less with your makeup to counteract and not making it look like it's too much. So when you use glitter, even if you wear very minimal makeup compared to, you don't even have to wear a bold lip. I could just wear a bunch of glitter, either as eyeliner or eyeshadow, and I'm gonna look like I tried and I'm gonna look like a million bucks. So I did a bold lip because that's gonna be one of my other tips. So you can either use glitter liners. My favorite are the Urban Decay ones. They come in a bunch of different fun colors. I'm wearing Midnight Cowboy today and I'm just wearing it as an eyeliner and I did it really thick so my eyes would look nice and open and awake and like I said it's just a good little trick to make it look like I tried when I didn't it literally took me like 10 seconds each eye to make it even and then if you wanted um, eyeshadow and more neutral colors you can use the Stila glitters they come like a little eyeshadow applicator and then you can just pat it out with your finger you don't need other eyeshadow to use it my next tip is a bold lip and same thing when you spend less time on your eyes, when you use a bold lip, it just looks like you did it on purpose. So I could be wearing absolutely no eyeshadow or glitter or anything and just have some mascara and I can do a fun lip like red or pink or purple, orange, blue, whatever you want and it's gonna look like you tried and you just tried to compensate and make it look not as bold, but still with a bold lip. So it's a really good trick. It's probably my favorite trick because you can always keep a bold lip in your purse. So if you only had five minutes to do your makeup at home, once you get to work or school or wherever you're going, you can just go in the bathroom, put on that bold lipstick, and you look like a million bucks and like you tried super duper hard, but you didn't. Um, of course, you can use both these together. I did a gold glitter and red lips today. So my next tip is putting an inner corner highlight Doing this, again, it just makes you look like you took that extra step and tried. Usually when we're feeling a little lazy or running late, we're tired. We didn't get enough sleep, maybe that's why we're running late. And doing this trick, it just, again, it opens your eyes, it makes you look really awake, and it just makes you look super glam and cute, and it's personally one of my favorite parts of doing my makeup. Of course, you can coordinate it with whatever color you're wanting to go for. My fourth tip is using a little bit more product um, so not foundation or anything but your bronzer your blush and your highlight now I'm not saying like pack on a million thousand pounds of it but just going a little bit more heavy-handed is gonna look like you really really tried to go super glam and as long as you're blending it out correctly you're gonna be fine and yeah it just looks like I tried really hard today because I put a lot of highlight and bronzer and blush. I literally spent 15 minutes today on my makeup before filming this. Super easy and I was going slow because I was watching Orange is the New Black so you guys could probably do it in 10 minutes. So super easy. So yeah, try and go a little bit, I don't want to say heavy handed, but don't be scared of product. So yeah, just use a little bit more product than usual. As long as you're blending it out, it's still going to look natural. It's not going to look like you literally just took powder and went. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to give you a nice youthful glow. And again, it's going to look like you tried and you're going to look real good. My fifth tip is bring makeup in your purse. Not just a lipstick, but say you didn't have time to put on bronzer, blush, or your favorite winged eyeliner. And you didn't have time for it at home, but maybe on your 15 minute break at work or your lunch break at school you can put that on and you'll feel better the rest of the day and you'll have that chance to and then my next and final tip is 
your hair. Spend a little less time on your hair rather than your makeup. I find that if I go out of the house with no makeup on and fresh hair, I don't look as nice as when I have a full face of makeup on and my hair like eh. You can tell the difference between when you spend time on your hair and when you spend time on your makeup and I find when you spend that time on your makeup it just it brings it all together. So let's give you an example. So I curled my hair for 15 minutes, it's beautiful and then I have mascara on. You, you obviously know I try but it doesn't look as put together as maybe this would. So I spent 15 minutes on my makeup. I threw up my hair in a ponytail and then when you have a moment put a little braid in your bangs or put little hairs down and curl two pieces there's two minutes and you're gonna look super put together and done um, so an example of the other updo where I was talking about the curls um, would be in my giveaway video I hate to keep mentioning it but I want to be able to give back to you guys I'm just really appreciative that you guys are liking my videos and watching them so make sure you check that out. In my video, I just, I literally threw up my hair walking to work because the wind was going crazy and I had already curled the two front pieces. And so, and that literally took two seconds. So doing those kind of hairstyles are just going to make it look more put together as well as you're able to do them on the go. You don't have to have the perfect hair or going to bed with your hair in wet braids if you know that you're always running white because then you can just let it go and you have natural beachy waves and it's super pretty. So that's all for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to click that thumbs up button. Comment down below what your favorite tricks are to fool people on looking glam and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video guys and that's all for today. Bye!